Welcome, ladies and uh -oh. gentlemen, to the Tidwell Taste Tour. Look at this. We are on location. Where? Llama Island. Okay. At a beach I don't know the name of. Okay. Where? Where else? Hong Kong. Hong Kong, you got it. We're this. in between Yung Shui Wan and, and Sok Ku Wan this. on Llama Island. So this it's is actually beer that I can't tell you anything okay. about. Okay, well I'll tell you a little about it. It's five percent alcohol, 5 as alcohol. stated here, right? It and is. It, it is from Kirin Brewery. Okay, from, which is from Tokyo. It is. That's about it. So this brew is actually their summer brew. How do you know that? I just know that. This is their summer beer. That's why we're going to try it because it is just like summer here in Hong Kong. Now, even though Japan is our next stop, actually in two days we head to Tokyo. Uh, this is their summer brew and we're going to try it here since it's much hotter here and it is fall time there and they'll probably already have a lot of their winter stuff out. Oh, that's nice and refreshing. Yeah, poppy slightly. Mm. <laughs> very, very vague. Vague? In my opinion. Vague hops. As stated here, this is a, uh, a beach on Lama Island one of the outlying islands in Hong Kong. It's a very hot sunny day uh, and we decided we decided the summer ales or the summer beer whatever it is is probably a pretty good choice for today. Probably be sunburned tomorrow. Probably. So what do you have to say about it? Well uh, malty yet hoppy. Oh for fuck's sake you, you are mimicking me <laughs> mocking me really. Um I mean, it does taste like a summer beer, but not like real, um, not real citrusy like a lot of ours taste. Okay. Um, just a nice, crisp. All right, let's switch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so as I stated, this is from the Kirin Brewery. This is their summer beer. All of it's in Japanese, with the exception of the little label here that, that says Kirin Brewery Company Limited, Nakano Forkome, Nakanoku, Tokyo, Japan. Um, and that's really it. I mean, if you look, the rest of it is just Japanese. So it's in a different which language is, or which something. Which is uh, which is kind of cool, really. A different language. I said it's in a different language or something. Jesus God. <laughs> wrong with you. <laughs> I'm making Mark Tibbetts jokes. Hmm. Now if you say anything I said, I'm gonna make fun of you. Well... a big fan of that um i think it's not half bad it's not bad my issue Ooh, with it, it makes me burp a lot yeah it's, well because it, it's very carbonated yes my issue with it is that it's it has a very light beer taste to it like uh and i don't mean light beer in like a good way i mean it in like a you know, but light right but it doesn't taste like that it tastes better than that for sure but it has a very light beer like almost Chinese, light Japanese lager. Actually, I'm curious to see the malt content on this because it kind of tastes like one of the Japanese um, haposhus or uh, one of those things, which are the lower malt content brews. They have different tiers of them, and I, and I can't remember which is which exactly, but there's one that's 0%, there's one that's less, and so on and so forth. Because that's what they tax in beer on in Japan is malt, not alcohol. So... Why? I don't know why. But I know that that's the law, is that what is taxed that's is the weird. malt content. Meaning 100% malt. In Japan, 100% malt is like is like a treasured thing that's really promoted by the brewery, saying, well, it's more expensive, yeah, but it's 100% malt. So it's, it's true beer, as opposed to this, this, and this, which is less malt, huh. cheaper, but therefore weird. generally worse tasting as well. This kind of tastes like an in-between sort of thing, where I, I would kind of be surprised if this was 100% malt, because it doesn't really taste like it. It tastes like it's got some adjunct in it. On the same note, it's not bad, but it's very typical lagery tasting. Um, I'd give it like a five and a half. 
Yeah, you give it like six. Yeah. Um, I don't really know that there's much else to say about it, honestly. That's, I think I pretty much summed it up right there. Um, Tidwell Taste Tour merch. Hmm? What do you say? Um, so yeah. Lama Island in Hong Kong, great place. This is the Kirin Summer Beer. It's 5% alcohol. Uh, we'll be back. Just pan out slowly here. And thanks for joining us on the tour. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. And please do join in again. That doesn't look like a very slow pan. Holy crap. Well, whatever. If that's blurry, Oops. That's, if that's blurry, Sorry. If that's blurry, blame tidbits. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining in.